Welcome to Electronline. When we're working with discrete random variables, we will also encounter, as a big part of this, the probability of particular outcomes. In essence, the probability of every possible outcome. And so we end up with what we call a distribution of probabilities. The probability distribution. And so what is that? Well, it turns out, if we read the definition, the probability distribution of a discrete random variable is the accounting of every possible outcome in terms of the probability of each of those possible outcomes. So, let's take a simple example. Let's say we're tossing two coins and we want the random variable to be the number of times that we end up with head. Well, x represents the number of heads and so the possibility outcomes are there's zero heads, one head, or two heads. So what is the probability that each of those outcomes will occur? Well, the outcome when neither one of the coins is a head is one in four. The probability that one of the two will be a head is two out of four, and the probability that both will be head is one out of four. This here is called a probability distribution. Now, of course, that's a very simplistic example of that, and we'll learn how to graph those probability distributions. But essentially, if you list out all the possible outcomes and the probability of each of those outcomes, you have a probability distribution. And of course, it's a very important part of learning how to deal with random discrete or discrete random variables because we want to see a visualization of how the outcome can be and what the probability will be of each of those particular outcomes. So that is how it's done and that's what we mean by the probability distribution. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs>